Hey friends, it's Bill McDonald, The Writing Doctor. Um, today I'm going to show you two papers that uh, got um, two ones and um, well, one that got two ones and then and from the scoring guide and then I'm going to show you one that got a two and a one so you can see the difference. Um, in an earlier video you heard how to get a zero. Um, the prompt was read right about one activity you work hard on in fourth grade and their reason for giving it a one it was only weakly linked to the prompt because the development didn't contribute to the central idea. So the idea was that it's difficult to build a clubhouse. So what I have here on the left hand side of the essay I have a package of Smarties, and each sentence that um, I hear, I'm going to place it in one of these uh, four circles that I made. The central idea of the clubhouse being difficult, um, story details that really don't contribute to the reason why building a clubhouse is hard, those Smarties will go here, sentences and the details about why building a clubhouse is hard will go there and then we'll see what kind of ending they have that ties everything together okay so here we go a birthday gift was the greatest gift of all period okay that is a story detail so i'm going to place one m of the smarties in story i ran outside to the happiest day of my life seeing a clubhouse one third, uh, one half done of it, period. Okay, so the clubhouse. Half of it done. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put that in the central idea part. It doesn't really say why it's hard, so I'm going to put it in the central idea. I was happy to see my birthday present outside. Okay, that's emotions. That is a story that does not say why it's hard. I wishing to have a club and it happened, period. Okay, that's a story detail. That's not why it's hard. Uh, on the other hand, I had the clubhouse for half a month and it was half done. Um, I suppose that they could have done something with that. That does make it difficult to have a clubhouse if it's only half done and only a whole month has passed. Clicking over there, here, and there to build their clubhouse is we can have these clubhouse. We put so much hard work, it's a masterpiece. So I'm going to put um, one detail inside the central idea that it's hard to build the clubhouse. It was a masterpiece. That's kind of like the opposite of saying why it's hard. So I'm going to put that in the middle because uh, it doesn't really tie in to why it's hard. A masterpiece uh, might have been something great to put at the end that even though it was hard, it ended up being a masterpiece. But it's kind of all over the place here. One day it rained and we were in the clubhouse and we were having popsicles. That sentence has nothing to do with why it's difficult. In addition, we had the club for a month now and we was crying because my mom took our clubhouse. Okay, um, That has nothing to do with why building it is hard, so I'm going to put that over on the story side. Um, I woke up to my mom and uh, talked, taking down the hall, or talking down the hall, where I went outside and saw Nanny with her car hooked to the trailer that had our clubhouse. Because um, of the run, I can't give a smart yet I cry and cry for our clubhouse and then I think about 
the hard work, I put in it, period. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put central idea. We don't know what the hard work was that's put in into it. Um, too sad to say goodbye to a gift, period. Um, sounds like that's sort of a, an ending. Uh, the story. So I'm going to put it on the story side. I wish I got it back, period. All right. Wish I got it back. All right, so if you look over here in my final analysis, there were three details that mentioned that building a hub clubhouse was hard. That's called repetition. Um, I put one detail, one sentence in why it's hard. One was kind of random. Uh, five, six of the sentences were just story details that had nothing to do with uh, why it was hard. And then there was some sort of an ending. I wish I had it back. Um, so as you can see, there was an attempt to talk about the central idea, but because the body asked you, why is it hard? You can't just have one sentence explaining how, how it's hard and don't support it or explain it at all and expect to get them more than a one. So when you write a story about the topic, and they can at least see it like you saw it there three times. They're not going to give a one. Um, so they call that, if you look uh, at the previous page, I'm going to show you uh, in the rubric for a one, it says the organizational structure of the essay is inappropriate to the purpose or the specific demands of the prompt. So purpose meaning expository. Um, and the demands of the problem said, why is it hard? So for those two reasons, they spent too much time telling a story, but most of the details in the story had nothing to do with why it was hard. They were just random details. Uh, the paper had to get a one. Okay. As you see, the writer's progression of ideas is very weak. There was some repetition of the central idea. So this paper does get and deserve a one. So you might want to use Smarties so you can count how many de details uh, in the body say why and how many of them are just story details that really don't explain. Because if you've given a reason why it's hard to build a clubhouse, like they're, they're, they're very expensive or a clubhouse um, it's hard to build because it's up in a tree and you have to keep climbing up and down. Um, you can see it takes a lot of time or because of the weather, it slows you down. Um, it could be that it takes a lot of effort with muscles because you're um, having to use a hammer and some nails and probably having to cut down branches. None of that was there. So it would be nice to hear one or two reasons why it was hard to build the clubhouse. And this paper probably could have gotten a two. But it doesn't get a one for being a story about the prompt. Because you can see right there, they did address the prompt. Just did it with the wrong purpose. And didn't follow the second part of the prompt, explaining why it's hard. So that's what gets you a one. And a one, that would be a two with two graders. Thanks and God bless.